I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a... Little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. 
I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh... Keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh... There's nothing, man. I just wanted to... Check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? It's, it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. I wasn't sure then. But now... It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He saved my life. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I... I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Spinning out of control. 
That sound's gonna draw walkers! We gotta shut it down now! Nick, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell! How to do this? Wait. I can do it. Okay. We'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. 